Where do most expats live in Oaxaca? What are the safest neighborhoods? What are the best areas to stay in? What are the best neighborhoods for food, bars, restaurants, shopping, and nightlife? I'll answer these questions and give you a tour of each neighborhood in this video about where to stay in Oaxaca, best areas, and neighborhoods. So I'm staying in the downtown central area right now and this neighborhood is where all the local commerce is going on. This is where a lot of the restaurants in the town come to buy their local produce and a lot of vendors set up on the streets and the markets. Just take a look at all the activity here. This is the food market and it's a great place to get something to eat. There's food being served in here all day and I'll go show you a few of the things in here. This is where I ate lunch yesterday and it's absolutely fabulous. And we'll talk to a couple guys here that are getting ready to eat something. What'd you order? This is a uh, tlayuda con carne. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I had yesterday. It's like Oaxacan pizza. Yes, it kind of looks like a pizza, but Mexican twist. So it's a crackery light crust filled with avocado, tomatoes, and meat. Yes, and cheese. And cheese. And cheese. And cheese. Yes, Oaxacan cheese. Enjoy your meal. Thank you bon so much. Thank you, guys. <laughs> this area is kind of interesting. There's barbecue going on back here. So you come here and you can order your side okay. items. Onion, got chilies, tomato, cilantro, avocado, the salsa verde. Okay. So you can order several of these. They're about a dollar a piece. And then you go get your barbecue to go with it. This is the meat. So you can order your meat here. It's sold by the kilo, and this is what's going on. They're cooking it over a wood fire, wood charcoal, and it's absolutely delicious. My three favorite neighborhoods in Oaxaca are Santo Domingo, Jalatlaco, and Suchimilco. Santo Domingo, the center of town, called Centro, can be divided into two halves. One half is the Zocalo, the town's main plaza, and the other half is Santo Domingo, centered on the historic Santo Domingo Church. This neighborhood is the center of Oaxaca's nightlife and offers bars and restaurants for all tastes. Its cobbled streets and beautiful architecture offer a romantic setting, Perfect for a getaway with your significant other. This is the organic market where you can buy organic products, obviously. And you can also get meals here that are made with fresh uh, farm to table products. I forgot the name, but it's this beautiful flower. It's those over there. flowers. Oh, over there. They make like a tea out of it. Yeah. And, uh, and what's it like? It's very natural, a bit thin, not so. Like flavored water. Yes. Flavored water, more like tea, but like really refreshing. I yeah, think. it's good. Cucumber oh. with ginger and lemon. Already the oh. smell of it. Yeah, I, get it. Yeah, I, I like it if it's not too sweet. And it's not right. sweet? No, do you want to try it? No. <laughs> Perfect, that's what I'm getting. We are on vacation, we're in Mexico for two and a half months. A salad with queso de cabra, queso of the goat. Uh, it's good. We came very hungry, so it's even better. Uh, mousse uh, de maracuya. The chocolate cake with, with maracuya topping. I see. And how much was it? Do you 50. 50 pesos. <laughs> it's a pineapple juice. Yeah. Pineapple with a strawberry? With strawberry. 30? 30, 30 pesos. 30 pesos yeah. for the whole picture? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No sugar. No, no sugar. With ice. With ice. Ice? Mm -hmm. ice. Well, yeah. Salud. 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 So here we have desserts with no gluten, no sugar. Vegan soup, which looks really good. Empanadas. So $3 for a soup. Omelets for 85 pesos. They've got vegetarian dishes. I just got one of these. 
bridge with the gua guanabana, guanabana and almond milk for 35 pesos and look at that so I just got my lunch healthy organic fresh for 115 pesos total and here's my vegetarian soup vegetable soup I've got smoked beef with tor corn tortillas and my guayabana almond milk drink so a very good deal for a healthy lunch Right now I'm just a couple blocks away from my apartment, the opposite direction of Santo Domingo Church. And right here you get into a less touristy neighborhood, more of a local Mexican neighborhood. There's a beautiful park right here. There's parks all around the place. Here's a nice little restaurant that has more of a local price 80 pesos for one of the meal packages 70 or 60 pesos so three to four dollars for a complete lunch here's my neighborhood just around the corner from where i'm staying there's a language school right here and then this is the botanical gardens on the right of me I was just walking around the block from where I'm staying at and came across this place. I didn't even know it was here. It's very contemporary, uh, upscale, has a lot of nice restaurants, wine bar, uh, places to do your laundry, and all in this little mall. It's only a block from my apartment, so really quite a surprise. Look at the size of this tree. Some of these trees along this road are gigantic. Santa Domingo Church. A beautiful bar up here. This is really nice that they have some shaded areas here. So even during the heat of the day, you could still come out here and get drinks or eat in a nice shaded area with a view. From these rooftops, you can really get an idea of what it's like living in this area. Above many of these shops, there's apartments on the upper floors. So you can see on the rooftops, some of the places where people live and the lifestyle that you get by living in this area. So I stopped by this gym a couple of times and it's 30 pesos a day for a drop-in fee or 280 pesos for a month. Small, but everything you need. I'm just a block away from where I'm staying right now. And as you can see, there's a couple of rooftop restaurants right here. So it's a very lively place here at night. Let's take a look. This park is right across the street from the organic market. And frequently they have dance classes going on here in the evenings as well. <laughs> The central area is blocked off here in the evening to traffic, so it's really nice to be able to come out and enjoy this area and walk around going to the restaurants and enjoying the nice cool temperatures here in the evening. Jalatlaco, east of Centro, and across a dry riverbed is the quietest neighborhood, offering comfortable living, just a 10 to 15 minute walk from downtown. My friend Rosario is an excellent guide and will tell us more about the area. There are places that you can rent, obviously, here. The majority of these places are houses, but still as is very popular. People, they have like private uh, rooms or uh, they, some of them are small hotels, different houses here. Mm -hmm. Some of them are uh, families and or a small space for the visitors or guests. Like if you can see all over the area, not only here, but all over Oaxaca City, you don't have high uh, buildings because the majority of those constructions they were made in the 16th, 17th and 
18th century and they are protected because the city was named a um, UNESCO heritage site since 1987 Here's where I'm staying now. It's a nice bright room with plenty of light coming in from the large windows. Got a queen size bed. I really like that there's outlets, plenty of outlets around. There's a power strip there, so I've got a great place to charge all my batteries from this angle. You can see that the room is very large, plenty of space. And I really like these balconies. There's fresh air that comes through here. And here's my work room. There's a view of the mountains in the distance. I also like, there's a blackout shade here. So if you don't like light, it's really nice. There's blackout shades on all these windows. There's also one here, which will be good for me. As I work, that'll be really nice to be able to close that down. Nice lounge chair here. And then look at this balcony here. It's a nice place to do yoga or just enjoy the outdoors. Take a look down the street. It's a large bathroom and plenty of storage. Look at the storage first. an extra blanket and there's where I keep some of my bags here's the other side a place for to hang clothes place to store my suitcase place for some nice drawers to put things in in the bathroom it's a good sink with a mirror and shower, lots of space in the bathroom. This is my neighborhood. As you can see, there's lots of little places where you can stay, Airbnbs, apartments for rent. It's a much more of a neighborhood type area than Centro and much quieter and a lot of art, a lot of style. Here's my favorite coffee place. I need a latte. A latte? Para acá? Ah, si. Sí. Ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Latte, 30 pesos or 35 for the grande. I just got a coffee at my favorite coffee shop here in my neighborhood. Now we'll go to my favorite breakfast spot. Luz Maria has a nice little store up here and she sells a lot of products vegetables, eggs, just the things you might need so you can have her make your breakfast, lunch, just about anything you want with the ingredients she has. So this is the place to go. We got great prices. Hola Luz. Hola, hola. This is Luz Maria. Hola. Lucy. And I love her store here. Look at her nice board she has put up. The chalkboards with all the things you can get here. Got eggs, got some different dried chilies. People all the time are coming in to get the fresh ice cream. Hola. <laughs> there she is at work, just making my eggs. It's just like at home. Su casa is mi casa. <laughs> Breakfast here cost me 50 pesos. Look at this salad. Got avocados, got cucumbers, got apple. Just a really good salad. It's now evening here in the neighborhood and walking down towards the town center. We'll see what's going on. Here's a nice hamburger place. And construction going on. There's always construction going on. You can see people are starting to get out for the evening. A lot of the tables are set outside the restaurants now. So you can enjoy the nice cool temperatures and eat some food here in the town center.
Xochimilco is the oldest part of town. It began as an indigenous village several thousand years ago and is still full of indigenous people practicing their traditional crafts. This neighborhood is renowned for its textiles with many family-owned shops that have been in business for generations. Here, you'll be about a 15 to 20 minute walk from the center of town. The neighborhood is known for its colonial era aqueduct that was built in the 18th century to supply water to the city's fountains and public baths. The aqueduct is a testament to the city's rich history and architecture. Oaxaca was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its unique mix of Hispanic and indigenous cultures. This pedestrian walkway is a very pleasant place to come down and walk and then there, this part of the street, the cobblestone streets. Um, cars will come through here also. Nice murals everywhere. The roads are this cobblestone all around this neighborhood. There's just beautiful tile work, different places. Lots of smaller houses. And as you go up the mountain, things get cooler. So if you want to be in an area where you don't need a vehicle, this is pretty good. If you have a car, you might want to choose living up on the mountain, somewhere where it's cooler. Uh, this beautiful place that is the aqueduct, part of the ancient aqueduct, is the most preserved area of these constructions from the 17th century. And when it's the raining season, that is six months in the in Oaxaca, in the Central Valleys, uh, from more or less from May to October. And from October to May is completely dry. But don't be afraid because uh, the, the, the raining season, mainly the raining is in the afternoon, five, six, eight o'clock. It's been that you have the full day for visit, go around. And mainly, all, every day is uh, shiny like today. Uh, now we are in the highest part of the city of Oaxaca in the neighborhood of Xochimilco. It's a canal that it, it's dry actually. When is the rainy season? We cannot walk here obviously. <laughs> the water the runs. River. <laughs> and of course now in the dry season <laughs> it's dry and people can cross and enjoy this park. <laughs> I'm now staying here in the neighborhood of Xochimilco and it's a beautiful, quiet, relaxing place. Here's the apartment I'm staying in now and it's in a wonderful location and it's very nice. It's got this nice brickwork outside of it and nice comfortable bed, a nice work area, Look at this nice brick wall. There's plenty of storage on this side of the room. I've already got my clothes put away and a nice place that I can charge my batteries. So that's my charging station here, my workstation there. That's pretty much all I need. It's a nice bathroom here with good ventilation. And a mirror that's at my height, that's rare here. Let's look at the outside area. There's a nice shared living space here with the other apartment. A refrigerator out here that's shared but that's all I need and then we are actually just one block from the town center here's the balcony from my place with lots of flowering trees the owners really keep some nice vegetation here right down this way is the aquifer and then this is the main church right here It's very common to see dance classes outside. People are out here enjoying the weather and getting their exercise in. And you can also see there's really nice wooden doors. Just everything's painted in really nice colors. So it's just really an attractive place to be. This way goes down to the aquifer, and then this direction goes towards Centro.
There's artistic boutiques around here. Nice murals everywhere. In this neighborhood, you'll find a lot of casas like this one, where they've just got it subdivided up into little Airbnbs. And there's some restaurants down this way. Everything's nicely painted. And uh, we'll go take a look at these little restaurants. This is a traditional restaurant here. We have a beautiful courtyard, open air. Hola. And you'll find lots of restaurants that are tucked away in these different little alleys and uh, around the aquifer. I love these little hidden yeah. restaurants and cafes through here. Yeah. Here's another restaurant in my current neighborhood with a beautiful courtyard. Right now is the slow time of day in between times. But look, the aquifer runs right through the property. So you've got the beautiful old stone of the aquifer right here. Very nice. Very nice upstairs area. There's some beautiful doors here. It's a little restaurant here that has a lot of uh, American type cuisine. This restaurant here is much more traditional and a uh, nice place to eat right here. This restaurant is open for breakfast and lunch. They do very good coffee here and uh, another balcony up on top that's really nice. You can see this old brick work all around and of course flowering shrubs, bushes, trees and right now it's the dry season still so I can only imagine what this is like during the rainy season when, every, when it's got a lot more water. But just look how beautiful it is now with the different colors of flowers. This mural obviously is in, a, in the time of COVID. You can see a lot of themes with nature that run through the different murals and different cultural things as well. Here's a list of my pick of the best Oaxaca neighborhoods for visitors. And these neighborhoods are great for families also. If you have more information to share about Oaxaca, including recommendations for restaurants, places to stay, or local attractions, please leave a comment. Your support helps us continue to make these free videos to help digital nomads and expats find a place to call home. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more cost of living guides to beautiful locations around the world, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell to turn on the notifications and visit our website at www.livingoverseas.tv.